G'day, g'day. This is Gas Station 2.0. I wanted to improve on my first gas station video that I put up. And I like this one a lot better. It's more cluttered, and I like cluttered builds. They're much nicer, I reckon. And I cannot wait for Wastelanders to come out when they are apparently increasing our build budget. So I can definitely improve on this. Again, probably won't. I've got lots of other things I'm going to build. That is a stair glitch, the two stairs on top of each other. We have a male and female toilet, of course. The two vending machines at the front are supposed to mimic petrol pumps. This is the garage. So it has all the workbenches and some storage crates that are supposed to somewhat look like they belong in there. The traffic light and some extra decorations just because I like decorations. And of course there's some tyres out the front, make it look more like a garage. Now we have the shop with the little kitty right out the front, a couple of bins, poster, some flowers, trying to make it look inviting somewhat. We have a couple more vending machines inside the shop sell more stuff and always close the door behind you it's always polite to show others that you respect their builds by closing their doors the shopping shelf could have been better, I probably could have decorated that better at the time. I wasn't really thinking about it and just slapped it together. Some magazines, because pretty much every shop has magazines. The TV was my attempt at a cash register. I wish Bethesda would put cash registers in the game. It would really help. Next we have the cafe. We've got a little space out the front where you can sit down and have a chocolate milk or a cigarette, enjoy the sun. Or you can go inside and there's a little couch that you can sit on to wait for takeaway if you don't feel like eating in. Or there's a bar or a little table you can sit at. Lots of options. I really like the Nuka Shine kegs that they put in the game with the mystery items that we were able to get. It definitely helps to make cafes and pubs and that look much more useful. The punch bowl wasn't enough. Got to use the chemistry station in the kitchen because it has a sink. Brings it together a little bit better. I didn't get the uh, sink in the Adam shop that they had a few months ago. I wish I had. Up 
upstairs we do have the living area for the owner and proprietor of the store if they don't want to go home they can live at their shop and of course because I like clutter I tried to make it look as cluttered but neat as I could I guess I'm not a huge fan of the really minimalist builds they don't feel as lived in or cozy so I like to put a lot in there the sloth rug was a huge pain in the bum I ended up having to remove the bed put the rug down and then put the bed in it's really annoying putting the sloth rugs down they fight ya Now you will find that this place will get attacked by scorched, scorched beasts, robots, super mutants, ghouls and mole miners. A lot. But I chose this bit of road specifically because of the car park across from it. Which helps to give it that gas station and shop and cafe sort of vibe. Fit all of that traffic in. All in one location. Not that there is any in the wasteland. And you will find this spot next to the Miner's Monument below White Springs. Sort of in the middle of the map. Just above Uncanny Caverns. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. See you later.